Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I got for you a new series, new game. Uh, and yeah, if you could probably notice, hopefully, uh, some new equipment to make everything on me a lot easier and a lot more comfortable. And today we're going to be playing Rage. Now Rage has a pretty uh, strange history. Some of you may have been heard of Rage 2, but never really seen Rage 1. Uh, it is a huge tonal shift from the original. Uh, and this game is really designed to kind of show off the id tech engine. But you're going to see exactly how, why they had to reiterate it so many times. Now they're up to like id tech 6 or 7. Or maybe. This was like id tech 5, I think. Uh, but yeah. And hopefully you enjoy it. I mean, right off the bat, you can see it's a completely different tone to uh, to Rage 2. Rage 2 is more like, whoa, the bright and amazing, and Rage 1 is more like sad and serious and depressing. Well, yep. I mean, they kind of slap you into the whole origin of this. They created a world. They just wanted to get you right into it. So... The world is destroyed by a big-ass meteor, and since they didn't have Bruce Willis and the whole crew of Armageddon, they weren't able to blow it up. And so, meteorite crashed into Earth. Uh, governments of the world created the ARC program, in which they got, you know, the world's best and brightest and put them into cryo tubes and uh, bury them underground. And then, obviously, after a certain amount of time, they were just supposed to come up and, uh, and fix the world. Or at least, like, you know, restart. Not everybody was so fortunate, and so most people ate shit. As you can see here, the shit is being eaten. Kablamo! Boom boom! But yeah, this was, uh, this didn't sell too well. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad game per se, but it was definitely very janky. The biggest jank comes from just using the Intex software, the engine. You'll be, you'll see it like right away why it wasn't that, you know, <laughs> sought after. It wasn't, you know, it's not like an Unreal or anything like that. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. So as you can see here, we're not actually being waking up on time. This is our emergency wake up because shit's going wrong. So we don't know what the state of the world will be. It does look good. It tech looked good, but here is the problem. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Oh, would you like to? Uh, yes, keep that. Oh, you can kind of see it there. It's kind of harder on the <laughs> newer software and stuff like that. I think maybe it was ahead of its time, but there's a ton of texture pop ins you can kind of see popping up if you turn too fast. Here, the processors are, are working a little bit quicker, but you can see some nasty. That was. This is on the uh, 1070, so on older hardware, it was egregious. On consoles, it was fucking horrible. Like, if you hate Unreal Engine because of, like, the texture popperin, this was... Ugh. Yep, that's the president just telling you, you you guys are the last hope for humanity. Please. 
Please help us. Okay. Uh, cool story, bro. Okay, and that's broken. So now we just kind of head out. This is probably you're gonna see the texture pop in this up, but here we go. Oh, you can see that there. Yeah. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> and again, this is on current stuff. So this is like 1070. GTX 1070, uh, good processor and everything, it just, ugh. So, yeah, well, let's move on with that. Let's not, let's not focus on that, though. Let's just focus on what the game is for what it is, alright? Here we're gonna be face off with our, the main enemies of the game, the, the bandits. And of course we have no weapons, but we were saved by an amazing stranger. A great, powerful man, played by none other than hey, you. Over here. our good friend John fucking Goodman. Yep, this is uh, Hagar, I believe. Safe here. Get in. Yeah, Dan Hagar, played by John Goodman. I got questions, but we gotta get moving. John Goodman, uh, famous for such roles as the creepy dude from. Ten Cloverfield Lane, the fucking psychopathic dude from I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky from the the bowling bitch. movie. What's it called? Fucking uh, you know, uh, that one movie, and then the also Sully from fucking you don't even know the Monsters Inc. Yes, this is the future. Wow, look at that. Amazing it looks. Texture pop-ins and everything. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Got some Mad Max looking motherfuckers around here. Pretty much their world out here. Actually just straight out of Fury Road. Damn. Now we both got a problem. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. I mean I kind of just stood. You're the one that killed them. <laughs> Come on, bro. You just like roll me into your mess. I'm just but a simple arc survivor. I don't even know what my qualifications are or what I used to do, but that's what I am now. Generic arc survivor man. Uh, and just a fair warning, I will not be doing anything that is unnecessary there's a lot of uh I mean, there's a good amount of side quests in this game but what they really amount to like sometimes they'll give you some fairly good stuff but what they really amount to is you going back to a lot of the old areas you've already done and just either you know kind of doing like a remix of them like sometimes literally just in reverse so not literally not really the greatest and most engaging side quests uh, they don't add anything to the story. They just kind of be like, "Hey, there's bad shit going on here where you've you already know, been." I Can you go fix it? To save you. Not just my life, but the lives of So I'm gonna try and stick here. as much as I can to the uh, this long by staying out of trouble. to the main story. Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need you to do: head to where those bands. I mean, that's where live. the good stuff really is at, anyways. Plain and simple. No one walks out alive. Except you. <laughs> okay. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage. Yeah, he goes like, okay, look, those bandits are gonna come table. over here and kill us, so what we're gonna do is go over there and, and kill them first. Thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. 
We got a deal. You can't get killed by people trying to kill you if you kill them first. Thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you, Ark people. I mean, you need to find don't really know me, dude. And take care of the problem. I accidentally had my controller them. plugged in, so it's gonna show you the uh, prompts for the Xbox controller, but that should be tab. Opens up your inventory. You do all sorts of stuff. Here. Yeah, our mission's gonna right now to go kill them. So let's uh, let's go do that. To drive the little vroom vroom RTV. Press X to boost. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> uh, X to shift. Okay, so shift is the control of the keyboard. All right, now here we are at the compound of layer fucking hole in the ground that they live in these little apartment complexes yeah shift the sprint we do not have the glass yet so you get like a little spy glass you can use to zoom in but we do have iron sights We're in, boys. Loot corpses, yes. Be sure to loot the corpses, okay. Is there one? Oh, yeah, that was. Oh, well, these are just beer bottles. Uh, oh. Should I either go that way or go this way? Oh, nope, that's blocked off. Never mind. You can't do that. You're you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Okay. Press Y to jump. Very very strange how that's on the controller. It's Y, but yeah, you know, spacebar. This game is breaking a lot of conventions. Hey guys, I'm an intruder. Oh, that. Whoa. Well, okay, that man's just invincible. The cool thing about the engine is they definitely did a lot of work on the animations for the uh, the people, like when they get shot and die. Very uh, very neato. Reminds me of like Left 4 Dead when you kill zombies, like the normal zombies, where it's like, blah, 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 and they just like start doing real action movie stuff, where there's like, oh, I've been shot, I'm bleeding out. Oh, oh so sweet. The textures on some of this shit is just so weird and wacky. What is, why does it look fuzzy? Is it supposed to be like dust? It looks like there's mold on it or something. It's really weird. Very strange indeed. Oh no, he's got a knife! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's the moves. They were not, uh, they were not effective in, in the slightest. Come on out now. Ooh. Ooh, you took a lot of bullets. This just brings you back. Oh, wait, it's this little thing. These give you yep, there's a card. So there's a card game in this in this thing. That's yeah. Uh, from what I remember isn't very Uh isn't very like in depth or anything like that, but you, you, it's there, it's an option. And that's great. And as you can see there, they did like he did the cool animation. That again, they do a lot of unique movements and animations to 
certain enemies, and that's good for uh, for these melee guys, because if not, they would just be boring, like, oh, I'm just gonna run at you, and then sh you shoot me in the mouth. Where there, they're like dodging and doing all sorts of crazy Spider-Man shit. Makes it more interesting. <laughs> I've been trapped. Look at what Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. <laughs> Take him to the room that we have specified to kill people in. I think at this point, every room in, in this place is the kill room. Good. Ooh. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. No, wait. Ah! I have been stabbed. And again, this is one of the unique abilities of the uh, vault people, I guess. The Ark Dwellers, whatever the fuck they call them. Ark Survivors. We have internalized defibrillators in our suits. You are near death, and nanotrites in your body can revive you and neutralize any hostiles nearby. Wait uh, for the nodes to charge up. Once the nodes are charged, they shoot towards each other. Uh, press A when they are interesting. Which is E. Okay. The nodes shoot right past each other. Oh no. Okay. So the closer the nodes are, the more health and another day. Okay. That is a fucking wild defibrillator. Not only does it you know, revive you from serious injuries. Uh, some would say that the defibrillator probably wouldn't save you from, but it also shocks people around you. I don't know how that works. Nanotrites, baby. I don't gotta explain, explain shit. Look at this. This gross pile of, of the flesh. Look at that. <laughs> it's just like some of it just melts in, into each other. It literally just becomes a blob of flesh. What the fuck? Uh, be sure to save early and often. Yeah, that's the hint to save. Uh, let me just check real quick what the auto save button is. It is F5 as usual. The code is F9. Okay, so we got that. Saving content. There we go. We're good to go. All right, baby. Crouch to sneak. There's no sneak attacks, but I can do this. Oh, that didn't kill him. <laughs> just shot to the back of the head. Just like, what the fuck was that? Interesting, interesting. There he is. Appears mutants of the future have uh, super strong skulls. Woo. Ow. Hey. Like, you got bandages. Uh, yep. Q to use them. Uh, this game is strange, so it doesn't have like healing items like that. But the um, the health actually regenerates automatically. So it's literally just like a way to uh start that process early, rather than like having to wait behind cover. Which I guess is like all right. I. You know, some people hate the whole generation of games in which it's like, oh, let's just have, like, regenerating hell. Uh, I'm pretty okay with it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a good game that you, you need to get, like, health kits and stuff like that, but... For an action game, I feel like that's completely fine. Though I can say that having a whole health system like that does add like a kind of like sense of strategy and almost like a sense of urgency kind of like anxiety to, to certain action games like Doom and stuff like that adds like an element where you're like oh man I gotta be careful right I can't just like go in dumb I gotta actually like think about what I'm doing You know what? There's a place for everything in gaming. Get over here. 
And if you don't like it, well, that's okay. You can... You can play something else. Oi! This man takes a lot of bullets. I'm reloading. <laughs> Just stay down, asshole. I'm not fucking around. There's also some good uh, Easter eggs in this game, but I'm, I totally forget where they are. Just like a lot of like, oh look, there's like the secret room and it looks like Doom, or this one looks like Wolfenstein. Remember those games? Bethesda and id also make these games. Yes, this was, um, I'm pretty sure this was after, uh, id was acquired by... Bethesda, so they have like references to like you know the uh, Vault Boy and Fallout and stuff like that, and uh, Skyrim. Yeah, we have grenades. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to switch. So, oh, we do have a beat down. Nice, nice, nice. It's good to know. Let's crouch. Oh, we have a fucking shotgun. What the hell? Fists. Zero is shotgun. Okay. Well, time to blow some motherfuckers away. Hello. Oh, that shoots both of them. Okay. Ooh, you didn't like that. Uh, this is this was a if I remember right, this was like a pre-order thing. It comes with like the special editions nowadays, so you just get everything that came out. Uh, not the greatest, not that great. Uh, just bear with me as I try to figure out how to fucking switch my equipment stuff. Oh, okay. Well, we can just do that. Okay, it's not very intuitive. This definitely was not made for PC in mind. At least with the controls. Let's see what they are. So straight, blah 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 blah, spray, activate, blah 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 blah, fire. Fists. Settler. Okay, yeah, we got that. Weapon select like control. Activate. It's F1 to 4. Okay. There we go. Control is weapon select. Let's do the separate pistol. Get her. Oh, can't do it while you're doing this. Alright. Woohoo! That was the, that was the mission. Yep. <laughs> we killed every bandit. There'll never be any more bandits. Ever. At least from those dudes. Now we're just gonna head back to John Goodman. And he'll set us up. Set us up nine times. Alright, let's go. Uh, you probably notice these little floating things too. They are collectible-ish. They give you some uh, some goodies, some boosts. You gotta learn how to how to jump, how to get them just right. Usually, you don't want to do it with the ATV. The ATV is actually shit vehicle in this game. You do get a car, and you can upgrade that to to all hell. So that isn't too far off. So we'll wait to to get some of those. Uh, until we get the car. Okay, remember to visit it. Hey, like the hang or something. He'll buy a chunky collected. All right. Hey, you. Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen. The settlement was attacked while you were gone. 
bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt, and we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. All right. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends, and they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. He'll know what to do. help me again? I'll make sure our mechanic in town sets you up with your own buggy. What do you say? Uh, sure. I mean, that's definitely what we Thank want. Thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks. If not, see Halleck. He's right under the old sign out front. Sure. I need you to find the outrigger settlement and return here with those medical supplies. There is one side mission we really want to do. So let's get the ship first. Welcome, stranger. Hello. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to uh, browse my <laughs> selections? Quote unquote quality goods. What you looking for? The quality goods he uh, he wants are not uh, not the best. So we have. Books to sell them, small objects, some food cans, some beer bottles. They'll take all that shit. Hope Oops. to do business with you again. Yeah. I might have something you need. So yeah, this is the monocular. Uh, that's what you want for the zoom in. You get some bullets too. We don't really need those. Hope to see you again so now, soon. when we zoom in, we got that. Turns this into a semi sniper. Hello? Let me guess. You want to know how to throw a wing stick? Ain't easy, friend. Who names her daughter Lusa? Come on, Hagar. I see Dan gave you a pistol. Not a bad weapon, but if you want some subtle killing power, you'll need to use a wing stick. They've got a nano core for smart targeting, but it'll still take a little practice to master. I'll make I'm a sorry, deal what? with you. <laughs> you prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell Halleck it's safe to sell you some. So yeah, this is the the one you want to do because uh, learning to throw a wing stick may save your life, and I'm the best teacher around. It's pretty simple, just throw the wing stick at your target, and the nano core will do the rest. If the wing stick survives impact, it'll fly back to where you tossed it. So don't move around too much. Prove you can handle him. I'll tell how like you're safe. Good hunting. But yeah, this All one's really good because you get the wing stick. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. Uh, well, that's weird. Okay. Can the yeah, that's the Q button to use that. Yahoo! Yeah, sometimes they break like that. You can upgrade them uh, so that they don't do that as much, and that they kind of like they'll fly around a bit and hit other things. But yeah, they're basically boomerangs. You throw them like that, sometimes they come back to you like that, and then you didn't waste it. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck, and he can set you up. Uh, you just uh, you can now buy more from vendors. Yep, and they're quick use. You want to give it another go? Uh, no, I don't think you right now. Let's uh, head out. So now we're heading off to go help a nearby settlement that are either getting like some people have gone missing, I think, something like that the mechanic at least and so they're like okay you go help us and help them and we'll help you we'll all help you we'll give you a fucking car which is definitely most needed out here we just live right here hello 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 looking for Richter yeah he's up there yeah Hello. You need something, stranger? Hmm. Well, Dan's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up oh, there. no, okay, that's what it was. We got a list of supplies that the other Hagar needs in his settlement. 
have something that'll interest you. They got it. So, uh... Hello. You must be one of Dan's Robo new lady. Let me see what lady. you need. Hello. Hmm. Some of these things I'll need to track down. But you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us. Right? A member of our group, Juno, went missing a few days back. And I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? Sure. If you find any trace of him, I'll reward you with my own recipe for making healing bandages. Can you please do this for me? Uh, sure. Good luck, and I pray that he's safe. I think there's a card around here somewhere. Not really that important. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a card of her, which is very strange. Imagine living in a world where they had like a card game they made up and then you were so popular around that they're just like, yeah, we're gonna make you a card. Like, rad. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. You get it fixed for me, I'll give you a shotgun. So this is also technically another side quest that they just kind of throw at you like this. Uh, but of course, it gives you a combat shotgun. It should be an easy job. Which is, you know, your classic boom, reload, boom type of shotgun, you know, semi auto, not like the double barrel we got, which is frankly quite shit. So, we're definitely gonna want that. So, you know. And it's in the same place, so not like it's a bother or anything like that. <laughs> it's like literally right where you can see the entrance. Come on. Why don't they... I guess... The mentality is like we're not sending our own people because fucking Ark survivors are just fucking god tier apparently in this universe. You know, it's the uh... Mary Sue, John Sue type of shit. We are the hero. Boy! Yep, and these guys are British. Completely different from the other ones because the other ones were not British. Oh, I'm blimey! They shot me. They shot me good, don't didn't they? Another card. Got some. Uh, I don't even know what the hell this is. Hello. Coming up there for now. Oh, they're there. Fucking dead. Oh, I'm more in it. Fucking bitch. The new. It's the shitty pity. Oh, look, it's the new. And then it's making some sort of horrid plant monster. He was running at me with a gun, you all saw that, that was self-defense. Okay, there's the Lou. So here's the way to the radio tower. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hello? Enemies? Gino's whereabouts. Guess who did that? Ooh! Mutton. Ooh! So, no, not bandits, mutants. And you can tell because they look horrid and then they. Fucking evaporated it. Something. <laughs> I don't know. Literally just kind of like turn into dust or something. 
I don't think that's how biology works. And then this should to be thingy. Now we're good to go. You gotta you gotta give them credit though. Usually at the end of like a lot of these segments, they just have like a a quick way to get back to the entrance, which is uh you know definitely appreciated. There's been a ton of games where I played where it's just like, oh no, now you gotta go all the way back. No shortcut for you, asshole. Hey Do, do, do. Now we get cool pump action shooter gun. Nope. Sure, sure ain't. No. Yeah, not bad, stranger. Didn't know about the mutants. We usually don't get them this far out. You did good though. See Janice. Just waiting to Ooh. hear what you found. Look at that. Oh, that's a shotgun. And then hold right. Bumper for ammo selection. Oh, that's a. Uh, sorry. Uh. Oh, God damn it. So, middle mouse button and that does that. That's weird. What would right bumper be? I guess that's it. So, you can change your ammo here. Uh, you get different types of ammo, do all sorts of different shit. You know, scared? I knew something was wrong, but I had hoped he would show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking, and here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. Thanks, lady. Uh, your first engineering recipe. Uh, to use it, go to the engineering stream in your inventory. Which is, yeah, tab two. And then it tells you you need the bandages and antiseptic formula. And then, uh, yeah, you just build them. Do all sorts of stuff in there. Now. Some advice before you go. Well, what is it? These hills are crawling with bandit tribes. They mostly fight each other, but if they find you in their turf, they'll kill you first, then figure out if you're friendly or not. You watch yourself. Sound like a bunch of geniuses. Uh, yeah, this, you know, nowadays a crafting menu is like pretty standard. Back in this time, they st this is I think around the time when they started doing that, so it wasn't that like egregious and that, no, not that, I guess you could say like it wasn't in many, in many games as it was, as it is nowadays. So it wasn't. It wasn't stupid, you know. Nowadays, it's like every game's like, here's a crafting menu, here's a crafting menu. This is how you craft. It's like, oh god, I've done this like a hundred times already now. I mean, crafting systems aren't bad. It saves you the trouble of having to go back to town and get supplies and stuff, but it's just... At the same time, it's like, do we really... You know, need that? At that point, why don't you just make shit infinite? <laughs> like no I'm need to, to interact with shit because the whole thought process is like let's make the, the game you know supplies easier to get you know dead. right on the fly but then like at that point like why not just motherfucker just make things infinite in or enemies drop them or something like that so I have cyclist through guns okay 